Right, today I'm looking at doing a chroma key in DaVinci Resolve 12.5. So um, I've got some kind of stock pictures that I shot earlier today, which I'm going to use for this. And then I've got my green screen footage, which is just some pretty nasty footage from video blocks. And I was going to use this one, but it's kind of e a bit too easy, really, because the green is... I think it's falsely produced, if you know what I mean. It's sort of digitally produced rather than being shot. And um, this one is a little bit more of a challenge, so I'm going to use this one instead. So uh, firstly, I'm going to bring in the shot that I want to um, have you know, on the screen, in this case, so the screen of the phone. And that's always got to be below the green screen footage. So um, the shot of the iPhone here is going to go on top. And you can see, to start with, that it's a pretty nasty-looking shot. It's kind of all really green for some reason. I've never seen wood look this color but um first thing i'm going to do now is grade this particular clip and uh before well, actually before i do that i'm going to add a serial node onto here uh, because this is the one i'm going to use to do the uh the sort of quali qualifier section and uh, and key out the uh the green here so going back to our primary node our first node here so the one for our primary grade i'm going to just do a couple of minor changes to the color i'm going to just um, push up the um the tint on the clip and add a bit more contrast and maybe take the temperature down a bit i just think it looks much better like that in fact i might take the black point down as well i think it just looks much better like that than it does like this yeah, so that's why it's always a good idea to have this here, because if you do want to make any adjustments to it, and uh, making adjustments can help with the uh, the keying as well. One good thing, however, about this is that it has no other greeny kind of colours in it, so it does make it a little bit simpler. We don't have to put any garbage mat across or anything like that. We just can just use this screen and the rest of the clip. Uh, it has some changing colours across the screen. I think this is, this is literally just a green picture or something put on this or put on the phone and then filmed uh, it's got sort of reflections coming in there which changes the shade of the green a little bit which makes things a bit more tricky well let's firstly go to our let's go to the secondary the second node here and then move down to the qualifier and make sure that you have your qualifier selected here and then click anywhere and then up here, we're going to click on that section. We can see what's actually being selected by that. And you can see that this color is changing a lot throughout. So it's not really good. I mean, it's not so bad down the bottom here, but once we get to the top, we've got nothing nothing at all. So uh, what we need to do now is click on the plus down here by the uh, selection range. And we can start zooming in and actually picking extra bits to choose so that's the good thing with uh, DaVinci you can zoom in really really nice and close really easily and just start adding to that selection and get it looking pretty good and <clears throat> so yeah so once you've once you're kind of happy with that you can make uh, oh no we've still got a massive chunk missing missing in the middle but uh, tell you what let's sort that out a different way so let's sort that out using the uh, this these settings here in the qualifier firstly we can say well how wide do we want this uh this particular part of the qualifier to be so how many colors if you like do we want it to include well as i mentioned just before this shot hasn't got anything close to green in it apart from the screen so we can make this really really wide which is great you know so we can push this so wide before we start bringing in other parts of the clip so we can say yeah, let's have it <clears throat> that wide move the center point so it's yeah so it's probably about about there is right and now to just get those edges refined well, we can do a couple of things to help with that uh, the first is change the um, saturation level so the low point of the saturation level as we kind of see as we kind of make it high it cuts it out and as we bring it in we start getting the edges of the phone in there so maybe we just want to take it to about take it to about there and then well it's not perfect not perfect around the edges so we can now do a blur, change the blur radius down here and then tighten that in at the sides and maybe just blur it a little bit more there okay so that's pretty good 
And next thing I need to do is right click here in your, where your nodes are and add an alpha output. You can tell you've added that by this blue sort of nodule or whatever, module, I don't know what the, what you call it. And uh, drag from here, this arrow, the small arrow here on the um, node that you've just done the uh, qualifying in and drag that to connect to the alpha output. But don't forget at this point to turn this off because otherwise you're still looking at your kind of your key. So turn that off and what we can see is we have the phone screen with my clip showing through. But of course we need to reverse it. So come down to the invert button here, flip it around, and there we go. We have our keyed shot. So it doesn't really make much sense to have this, this particular clip at full size. So we can now go to the size button and start changing that. Select edit sizing in here. And we can sort of zoom out on this clip. Maybe maybe not quite to there to start with, but and rotate the clip round so it sort of fits with the phone pan it about a bit so it makes just so it makes a bit more sense really and zoom in a bit more there we go and there we have our finished shot i'll just play that you can see it kind of it's not it's not brilliant is it i mean clearly what this guy's doing is supposed to be <laughs> is interacting with some sort of some sort of application on the phone or some tech on the phone but he's not doing that he's instead he's just touching me uh, make a, making a cup of coffee fine but you get the idea it works and uh, has actually created a pretty nice key there we go that's uh, well in under seven minutes how to do a chroma key and how to sort of edit the footage underneath in davinci resolve 12.5 thanks for watching